back again. This time we'll be talking about um, equivalent types. And so, so far in Keppel, if we wanted to define a type, we generally use GLstruct. Now, GLstruct's great. It allows you to provide, uh, sorry, allows you to define a packed data structure, uh, which you can use both CPU and GPU side. And you can use them, say, on the GPU side for arrays and streams and all this kind of stuff. And on the CPU side, it writes a CFFI type, so you can use it easily there. And it matches all the interchange between. Um, one of the areas it doesn't cover, though, is if the type you're looking to move is a Lisp type. And you have certain fields in there you'd like to make available inside uh, your GL program. This is where equivalent types come in. Um, so what we have is I have a class called camera, which is already defined. As you can see, it's got a cam to clip matrix, which is an array of 16 votes, and it has a world to cam matrix and things like this. These are the two things I would like my shader to have access to. And so what I'm doing here is I'm defining the two fields that we'll have accesses for inside the shader. I define the GL type, and then I define a converter. Now a converter is a function that given a camera will give you something you can upload to a matrix for. In this case, we're just using the accesses that we're looking at before. If we look at cam to clip, it's defined right here. There's the reader. Um, once that's done, uh, essentially what it is, it's a uniform expansion. So instead of um, actually trying to upload the list type camera, this will expand to two uniforms, both of type matrix four, one called cam to clip and one called world to cam. But this is all hidden away and abstracted, so you can use the interface and uh, calling types that you're used to from Lisp. So you can see here, I'm calling cam to clip on the camera, and I'm calling world to cam on the camera. And that's really it. Um, everything gets in line, so it's nice and fast and it's just standard uniform uploads. Um, so that's all from this feature. The next thing I'm going to be doing is looking at uh, 3D models again, which is an area that's been causing me some, some headaches recently. So I want to go back and see what can do there. And I know some really smart people are doing some good stuff with that on Lisp at the moment, so I'm hoping to see something cool very soon. Ciao.